For Rezik Abuseta, this is the best part of his day. The father of seven spends most afternoons playing with his young children. He says he knows he has a lot to live for, but that he hasn't always felt this way. Abu Seta shows us a news clip from February that he found on the internet. The video shows him sitting at the top of a tall mobile phone tower, threatening to jump. Abu Seta says he wanted to end his life because he was so heavily in debt. He only agreed to climb down after government officials promised to help him with his loans. I know that what I did was wrong. I know there are other ways to deal with my issues. And when I watch this video of myself, I feel ashamed. I feel like I should have been more sensible. So my advice to anyone who is ever feeling like I did is to talk to someone, but I understand the struggle. Cases like Abu Sittas are becoming increasingly common. According to human rights groups, the numbers of suicides and attempted suicides in the Gaza Strip has increased by nearly 40 percent in the past few months alone. That's according to the Euro Mediterranean Human Rights Monitor, a Swiss non-government organization that has offices across the Palestinian territories. They say the sharp rise in suicide and attempted suicides this year over previous years is blamed on several factors, including repeated wars with Israel, the blockade of Gaza's borders, and the high rates of poverty and unemployment. Hussam Hassan is a Palestinian sociologist who has been studying suicide rates in Gaza. He says not only are the numbers of suicides rising, but the way people are killing themselves has also changed. In the past, most suicides were carried out in private. Now they typically happen in public by people who throw themselves off of tall buildings or who set themselves on fire. This is considered a kind of protest suicide against the life conditions here in Gaza. The message is that they are protesting against the conditions they have to live under and the society they have to live in. They feel no one cares about their social or economic conditions. So they commit suicide publicly because they want to slap society in the face. Mental health officials say they are doing their best to help people like Razek Abuseta, but without any meaningful change to the daily struggles many Palestinians here face, they fear suicide rates are only likely to rise. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Gaza.